we just hold tight. We're up at the moonlight, believe in the magic. On sight, we'll make it feel just right. Just look at that bright light, believe in the magic. And we can save you from your past. This bond is always gonna last. When nothing else makes sense, just stay. Hey guys, welcome back to Realm of Magic. Why is it still 6 in the morning on a Saturday? My game did something. My game did something very, very bad. But apparently, everything I did with Serena in the last episode has all been reverted now. So, it still happened. Maybe I'll just invite them both to the... The, um... Art Center. Again, it's the last day of summer. We're not doing last day of summer I'm gonna get rid of everyone being sad over this holiday I I put it down but I haven't had a reason to celebrate it yet and also I just don't celebrate the the events in the game unless I want to it's just kind of boring I guess or it just feels like I, I have to take time out of a sims day to make them you know go fishing or be thankful for something or deal with the gnomes every goddamn yeah, Troy Bean is being a little, uh, where is he? He's down on the computer. You ought to be, you ought to be playing on, uh, this to hopefully get your play with three toys thing up. Oh, oh unless, uh, no playground equipment should count. Okay, maybe play with the dollhouse then, or whatever's in the toy box. For some reason, certain toys it registers, others it doesn't, so it's really weird. Play with the butterfly. We're going to go and hang out with Corvo today. I did kind of cheat his and Serena's friendship up because they did become friends so I made sure that they are friends again so yeah hopefully I might maybe see if Corva we'll, we'll invite Serena around I think and Skyla maybe we'll just invite the whole crew out to go somewhere Lily Bear has to do her homework she's got lots of homework to do for her second semester because that starts on Monday and these guys are just you know Enjoying life. Where are you currently? Oh, okay, you're up. Uh, you're up doing some some cardio. Are you Emrys to keep yourself nice and healthy? I checked his uh, days. He has left. He's got four days. He's got four days. Four days. But this is the last of the realm of magics I'm doing for now. Because then I've got to do some empires and some eco boys ones because of the run up to the holidays. So I've been doing all the realm of magics today. Ooh, you know you want to you want um to hang out? Sure, we can totally hang out. Forget about everyone else for now. Serena wants to hang out with uh Corva. I might put if Serena, depending on how Serena shows up, I might have to MCC them. MCC's logged an error. Has it? Of course it has. So many MCC errors happening. Lately, but apparently cat cafe has not happened, but you know how we're gonna make it a cat cafe? Uh Cat hangout. Now it's a cat cafe because cats are gonna start showing up. Why don't you guys go get yourself some coffee though? Bartek. And Serena's Dargo. I just quickly changed Serena Bartek. into how she would truly be. While they're hanging out for a bit, so just have a little bit chat with uh, your new friend though. Eh? They're still tense. They're still very tense. You can encourage her to come out. Just for like if you need like support when you want to talk to your mom, I'll be totally you know, on board with, with being there for you. Convinced. Finally this sim feels comfortable enough to come out to their loved ones. That's nice. Being flattering, being like you're looking lovely today. Just being super, being super nice to them, being super nice to them, listening to their question. I don't know what the question was, but wasn't didn't seem to be well reciprocated. It's got some interests. You guys can have some coffee as well. What is up with this dude's hair? You've got a bug on you, and your hair is bright green. Emrys Sharp's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get his affairs in order. Oh, man. Oh, Kentaro's here. We should probably move away from Kentaro. He's not exactly a nice person. 
he's not exactly a nice person. Charisma level 3. Charisma's come along pretty well. Pretty well. I like that Corvo has found a nice friend in Serena and have been super supportive. Because I think they might they might uh, go over to uh, go over to Serena's house maybe later t so he could be supportive of her. Compliment her outfit because she looks really nice today. Share a little secret. Just have a nice little hangout with them. There's other people hanging around. And we got another person walking around with a big old ace flag. <laughs> just walking around. The problem is, is the way the flag looks. Because it's sort of just, um, it sort of feels like over the shoulder it would look pretty cool, but because of, it's just a flat piece of like texture, it's just sticking up at a weird angle. School Spirit Day is happening and I just received. Oh god, how many of those did I receive? There were so many. Why were there so many? <laughs> Game, why why did you give me so many School Spirit Day notifications? Oh, that's so crazy. That's so crazy. Oh, look, who's flirty again. Floating around from the heartbreak trait. Having one potential lover is not enough with these sims. Alright, let's go. Uh, with our new friend, and we're going to go over to... Serena's house to be super, super, super duper supportive. What are these last exceptions that keep getting caught? <laughs> oh no, no, it happened again. It happened again. Okay, oh. forget about taking taking selfies. Oh, you got dressed, didn't you? Yeah. It's time to. Oh, uh, it's time to rip open the band-aid, as they say. Serena's feeling very inspired. She has come down dressed as her true self, and oh, she's wow. just like, Mom, Don't I need, need to tell you something oh. quite big. I'm transgender, my name is Serena, and my friend Corvo has been super supportive, and I want you to be super supportive as well. And she seems to be, she's actually in a pretty good mood, she's just like, well you know I'll always love you. And you know, it's good that you came and told me, and if you need any help, then I'm happy to, to give it to you. And Corey is walking in just like, oh hey, how's things going? <laughs> Laughing about tanks. So I think things went quite well. I don't know where you went off to. Where did you go? You kind of just wanted to... Oh, you went upstairs, did you? Just like, okay, you guys want to be, uh, to be left alone then? They're having a nice little conversation. That's why are you still walking around in your pajamas, <laughs> Skylar? You should totally get dressed. Oh, you want to do homework. Okay. Everything bugged and Serena vanished. Serena, where did you go? Oh gosh, she went upstairs. <laughs> she vanished upstairs somehow. Oh dear. Oh dear, you guys get back into a little conversation. Ooh. I don't know what that is. But that sounds tasty. Corva's like, I think that went pretty well. Don't you? She's like, I think it did, Mom's very pleased. And she's going to start paying for my hormone treatments. Which is, I'm glad you, uh, you were really supportive of me. I need to buy her own laptop, because she's just she's using that one now. There's a downstairs computer in the den. So I'm going to let these guys just have a little chat. And this does mean now I can do this. I can go into sim commands. Uh, maintain. Rename. And I can get rid of the brackets and Shane. And then we'll have to go into a cast later and uh, delete all the outfits. Delete some of the outfits. They're having a nice little chat. And I think it's nice. Because Corva was super understanding and he's like, you're a really cool person. And Corey just sort of... I don't know why, he just sort of walked over and then he left. Just like, okay. Bono. Encouraged to follow dreams, that's nice. Just being like, now you can be the best you you can be. Don't let anyone stop you. And you know, okay, I'm having some sort of UI trouble or AI trouble right now because everyone's teleporting around everywhere. Might be this house. But these guys are 
Oh, whisper about crush. Whisper about your, uh, your crush on one of the girls at school. That's nice. Oh, hi, Lena. You're back to just chat with them. Oh, you're gonna have to go home soon. Yeah, and she's looking a bit tired as well. Finish up your conversation. Just be like, I'm going to go home now. I had so much fun chatting with you. And I'm so happy that you're happy. And just, you know, you you being so confident has given me a little bit of confidence. And I might be able to tell that person I like them. And she's like, you like someone? You like someone? And Skylar is just buttoning, just being like, what's going on here? You seem a lot happier now, sister. And Corvo's running home, just being like, I was such a, I had such a good day today. Again, this all apparently happened on the longest Saturday ever. My god, it's just last exceptions, and it's the school, the school spirit day is causing last exceptions. Uh, I just know it, so I'm just going to delete all of that. All of that. I'm going to go in. And Emrys, what did you do? Oh, you're dangerously tired. You should not have been exercising so much. At least just chat with your son. Quickly just being like, hey. Son, how was your day? You've been out all day. By the way, some girl named Stacy left a message on our phone. Uh, she's asking if you wanted to go and get food or something. I don't remember. what. I think her name was Brathian or Lannister or something. I think it might have been stuck. I couldn't remember. I wrote the number uh, down for her, so you know, she wants to know if you want to go and grab a grab a bite to eat or something in the city. He's like, "Girl called for me. That's, that sounds all right. That sounds all right." And also, it's food, so it should be fine. So you're gonna go head up to the bathroom first. Yep. An opponent has the ball and is about to shoot. Position yourself to block the shot. Yell at your goalie to make the save. Position yourself. Oh, she she missed block, blocking the shot and also ended up screening her team's goalie for preventing them from making the save. Oh dear. Well, they just lost their match. And you're going off to sleep. Why are you angry? That offended me. Oh, I don't know what he said to offend you, but come on. Okay, you're gonna go out and get food in a bit because someone named Sasha or Stacy called, but Emrys doesn't remember. But while they were out hanging out with their new friend Serena, Serena, who has yeah, I'm gonna change um, all their cast stuff after this episode. But you got a call, so we're gonna go and have you go meet up with this Stacy or Sasha that Emrys uh, cannot remember. School spirit day broke again. Okay, but this is the Stacy Baratheon who's apparently uh, been wanting to get Corvo's number. I see he's going to do a little flirty introduction because he's in such a good mood. And he remembers her from school because she's the the popular girl from the school council. He's like, you must be Stacy. She's like, hi, I saw you at school. My brother thinks you're really cool and you hang out with all those cool people. Yeah. <laughs> You have the option to kiss her already. He's just like going straight in for it. Just being like... He, he did a flirty introduction, immediately kissed her. And she's just like, oh my god, wow, you are... She's like, you are, you are so much more than everything. Says he's like, yeah, I'm pretty great. Oh, I don't want to say they clicked, but apparently they clicked. Get to know him. Just a little bit. I think all my vents are broken. Which is really weird, so I don't know how to fix that. More people are just showing up, but... She's like, well, it's nice to see you. We should go and share excitement, because, oh my god, that's Alexa Mabry over there. She's Jonah's mom, and she's like, so cool. He's like, yeah, she's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, Robin's here. Say hi to Robin. Stacy got a future cube. He's just like, hey, you're that other girl, that, that kind of weird, quiet one. I'm Corvo. She's like, hi, I'm Robin. Are you got to a charisma level five already? He could just immediately be like super romantic with Stacy. 
Ask her if she's single, obviously. You don't want to be... You don't want to get too serious. And then find out she's got a, a boyfriend who's like a high school footballer. Kind of thing. But she's like, I'm super like into student council. Oh, wow, though. He thinks Robin is super cute, though. He's immediately just started, like, flirting all over Stacy, and then he's met Robin and being just like, she's actually, like, super cute. He thought Robin is actually, like, extremely attractive. It's kind of, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but oh man, it's just set off so many, like, drama things. I mean, he thinks Stacy is pretty. Very pretty, but he thinks that Robin is... You have my heart already. That's so... He is, like, sort of just... Getting in all the romantic stuff, like, You're already. Back? Back I'd, I'd have him ask her on a date, but I feel like that might break. But right now, he's just having a nice little hangout with her, and he's in a super... A super romantic mood now from the breathtaking encounter. I think we've entered, like, a full-on love square, because Serena likes Corvo. Corvo has already started like sort of putting the moves on Stacy, but he also thinks Robin is super, super cute. Robin has the sign of the lover personality. Huh. That's cool, Alexa's here. She's just wandering around. See, I'd rather have Alexa show up at all my lots as a five-star celebrity than Judith Ward. You know, she's looking a bit dazed. Yeah, you're pretty hungry. Should go and get food then. All right, let's go and grab a... Uh, Oh. Let's form a little group with Robin. Oh, wrong one. Form a little group with them, and then we'll all go and get food. All go and get food. She's like super adorable though. Look at that little face. Also, why do you have a future cube? I thought, I thought we fixed that problem. Okay, not over there. Where is the food vendors? Where are the food vendors? Is that a food vendor or is that a cupcake stall? That's a cupcake stall. That's not that's not food. That's not food. I swear there was like a ramen like one somewhere. Coffee's about to start. Okay, forget about food then. Just go straight home. <laughs> Just go straight home then. That's gonna have to be what you have to do. Okay, I've got Lily Bear on homework. Uh currently while Corvo's uh, eating cake and watching the TV before he heads off to bed. He's already a pretty, like, he's in, like, a very good mood, currently. Logic level 5. She's doing, she's doing alright. Lilybird's doing alright. He's just gonna be thinking to himself, just like, hey, Lilith, you have relationship problems. Can you help me with mine? She's like, nope. Do it yourself. I've got more important things on my mind. Why don't you ask Dad for help on a on a some advice about love? I don't know if you'd be able to answer your uh, problems on girls, but definitely just be like, okay, so I met up with ask if you can have a piercing. Just do it. He's just like, okay, dad, so uh, I met up with that Stacy girl who left um, the message here for me asking to meet up But then I met this other girl like when we were out Robin and she's like so freaking Like hot that I don't know what to do because I've kind of already agreed to start dating Stacy slightly Slightly I kissed her already and that was right before Robin showed up and Morgan's like you're just like, what, what, what is going on in your high school that you're having all these relationship problems already? And he's just like, I don't know. Morgan refused to let his child have a piercing because it's only for bad people and they might have a harder time getting a job even if they're more qualified. He's like, can I get a piercing? He's like, we don't do piercings in this house. Tattoos? Yes. Piercings? No. Funny enough, that's my kind of philosophy about piercings. I just don't like them on me. I tried a lip piercing and it did not turn out in my favour. Need a piercing from wanting a piercing. Corvo would love to have a piercing. He will have one soon, no matter what his parents will say. Even if they refuse, he will hide it every time he comes home. But you can't get tongue piercings in the game. Unfortunately. Now, you gotta go off to bed. Luckily, it's Sunday, so you don't have to worry about 
much all you gotta do is just do your homework. But currently his biggest problem currently is now he's just like, okay, me and Stacy are kinda now a thing. Me and Stacy are kinda now a thing. But Robin's really cute. And he is completely unaware that Serena has a huge crush on him. Hey Corvo, you're getting all the teenage drama problems. You've got all the teenage drama problems currently. I don't know how um, much how cute Serena thinks Corvo is because when I tried to open up the sim profile to find out, it broke. So I have to kind of wait until the uh, teen lifestyle traits uh, get fixed before I can do that. And this little bean is playing with his dollhouse. The family dollhouse. This, this family dollhouse has been here since the twins, I think, were toddlers. And we moved them all in to the... Uh, into this house that's how long they've had this dollhouse for this dollhouse would be is freaking old at this point Ooh, ah oh, your artistic prodigy stuff's got to uh the third level sweet which means five hours on the violin you better get started kid because you're gonna start learning guitar when you're a teenager <laughs> gotta get started on those violin skills before you move on to you know true metal heavy metal uh, instruments like guitars and guitars that have like 15 strings and three necks because that's an actual guitar that exists I think at least the triple necks one definitely does you're a sad drunk you were a sad drunk l last time you got drunk I think Emrys is starting to uh, fear the reaper so to speak which seems to be a bit oh, concerning I see Emrys is... not Emrys. Uh, Corvo is still thinking about that piercing. Maybe when I can come back to Realm of Magic after I've done the other big bulk of videos, maybe I'll have a uh, piercing and tattoo studio built by that point and Corvo can maybe sneak off with a couple friends and they can get piercings. Then he can get grounded for getting a piercing. Ironically, my piercing I had only lasted a full day when I had it. It kept hitting one of my uh, teeth, so I was just like, you know what? Nope. Wasted 20 quid on that. Can't waste money on tattoos, though. That's the that's the best thing about them. Oh, did her thing go up? Yes. All right, she's got to choose students. So that means I've got to send her over to Foxbury for a whole day, maybe, to do that. And she's going to get her research and debate up to level 6. Not too shabby. You want to practice juggling? You can do that after breakfast. You can do that after breakfast. I'm very pleased with her that she uh, managed to complete her first semester with an A+. Because I'm going to be doing the other two series in a big bulk, I kind of have to let her sit this entire one out unless I get her to just like bang through the presentation on the term paper, submit them, and then see just what happens. That might have to be what I do. Maybe. What's up with that, uh, what's up with the bonsai? It's looking a bit dead. Oh no, it's just the way it's been shaped. I thought the bonsai was dying for a second, but I'm thinking we wrap this uh, episode up. We have started Corvo's sort of teenage drama story now. He's starting to... Uh, hang on, where is she? Where is she? Yeah, he started dating Stacy slightly. They are lovebirds. They are lovebirds. He immediately miss, uh, met her. Was super flirty. She was very into it. He kissed her. She was also very into that. So they're kind of going to slowly start dating. I will send them out on an actual date at some point. But he's also just seen Robin and thinks she's extremely cute. But because he is sort of... He, he also likes Stacy, so he's going to try that first, essentially. And he was super supportive of Serena, who, yes, I'm again, I'm going to make the point, I, I'm changing all her stuff in cast after after this because she's not going to look um, male presenting anymore. She's going to be her true self. She's going to be her true self, and I love Serena for that. But yeah, he's unaware Serena's got a crush on him, but he's got a crush on Robin, but he's also starting to date Stacy. Corva, I just gave you the worst plotline ever. You've got the frickin' Mean Girls plotline is what you have. Oh, it's so kind of funny.
in a terrible, terrible teenage sitcom way. And Lily Bear is into her second semester already, and she's doing super well so far. Super proud of my little Bean, who's going to become a top super secret agent. And Troy, well, he's just enjoying being a loud little Bean for now. It's when he becomes a young adult that we're really going to kickstart his story with them, the twins. Oh, somebody wants to buy Emrys' rug. Yay. Let's ship that. Oh, oh, no, no one wanted to buy it. It just went and expired. Yeah, that's what it was. I got my hopes up for a second there. I'm sad now. I'm sad now, but also sad that Emrys has three days left. Don't think I'm ready to see him go, but... Uh, the next time we do Realm of Magic, it might be a special episode dedicated to Emrys and just filling out his last few days while he, uh, while we wait for the nervous floor. Oh, I'd like to adult now. You've got to grow more. Corvo, come on, mouse work. Alright, that's it for this episode. I'm going into Realm, uh, not Realm of Magic, uh, Empire for the next bunch of videos. Stay tuned for those. And I hope you guys liked uh, where Realm Magic is going so far. See you all in the next video. Bye bye now.